Hello everyone, welcome back to Rockstar Gaming. My name is Eric. Today we're going to continue our unboxing series on Marvel United X-Men by taking a look at the Stretch Goal expansion. We're going back to the 90s, back when the New Mutants weren't so new anymore. We're taking a look at X-Force right here. This was that interesting expansion during the campaign. I believe this is Kickstarter exclusive. That was basically unlocked through stretch goals uh they had different i think it was like a weekend or something like that, that they were revving up for or something like that and so every character in here was a stretch goal so once all the stretch goals were unlocked we basically unlocked marvel united i think the final stretch goal at least the stretch goal for the box was the dollar amount that was raised uh, that that goal was the dollar amount that was raised for marvel united one and so basically this um, expansion symbolized exceeding Marvel United One's funding. So that's the history on that one right there. So let's take a look at the box here. We do have some very popular uh, characters in Cable in Domino right here. We've got Shatterstar. We've got Cannonball, a mainstay New Mutant from the 80s. And then we've got Strife uh, related to Cable in various ways. Clone, brother, whatever you want to say. The 90s were wild i'm just gonna say uh so let's go ahead and flip it over right here once again domino cannonball shatterstar cable and strife right there this is the uh essentially the x-force expansion and when i say essentially i mean it says right there X-Force. This expansion, we'll take a look at it here in a second. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about, especially if you've been watching through the various unboxings and like the different game modes and whatnot. This expansion to me, and just the way it's organized, kind of is the most Marvel United Season 1 box. Uh, like the, the biggest comparison to Marvel United Season 1. Um, the challenge it kind of throws in there is... Um, not even like that big of a challenge mode in the game. We'll kind of get to that in just a second um, when we take a look at it, but there's not anything like major like the Apocalypse expansion or um, the way that like uh, the first class like has two villains kind of working in tandem, the way Phoenix 5 has like the build up to the Phoenix Force and the way Blue Team and Gold Team have that whole team versus team mode. This is basically just a straightforward box of a handful of heroes fighting against a villain and no real like extra dashboards or anything like that um, to speak of in my mind. So this is the X-Force leaflet right here. Uh, we flip over, we've got our components list, we've got our hazard location challenge. Uh, the hazard location challenge makes the play area even more dangerous, forcing heroes to carefully consider whether it's worth it to clear a threat only to deal with locations intrinsic menace. I think a lot of other, they even talk about it in here, uh, uh, a lot of locations are the same. You want to have include three locations among those used in the game. Hazardous locations are marked with a special hand symbol. More hazardous locations may be found in other sets, such as Latveria in Fantastic Four, Apocalypse Pyramid in Horsemen of Apocalypse. So when a hero ends their turn in hazardous location there that has no threat card on it, they must resolve its end of turn effect. If possible, these black end of turn effects are mandatory. So basically, as you've seen from other videos we've done, there's a bunch of mandatory effects on like locations with a black box that have you discard cards do something bad and whatnot we'll get to that kind of during this thing but again because of the components list as you can see on here like this is very light expansion compared to other ones so like i said this one is definitely to me more of a marvel united season one style of a box than um, other boxes we have taken a look at. Let's go ahead and get this plastic insert out right here. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at the X-Force location. So again, very first one we do see on here is Murder World. It was four locations, right? Okay, this one felt thicker for some reason. So we got Murder World, and we do have our hazardous location symbol right here. And to turn, you must discard one card from uh, your hand to the bottom of your deck. So we've got that right there strife's secret base end of turn you must discard one action token if you have any right there and then morlock tunnels you must add thug and civilian to this location right there 
And then the only good one in here, the Adirondack Mountains. End of turn, you may gain one punch token. You may exchange action tokens with another hero in this location. So there you go with the various locations for X-Force right there. Next thing we do have in here is Strife's dashboard right here, showing what tokens you get in supervillain mode. And then right there, his actual card right there. So there is his dashboard. We'll put that over there. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at the cards. So again, we do have uh, various cards. And again, like I said, we have one card right here that is the hazardous location um, uh, challenge right there. So it's basically just a challenge on a card. It's not anything extra uh, to the game right there. So we'll throw that over there. But we do have various members of X-Force right here, including Cable, Shatterstar, Cannonball, who I believe was second in command of X-Force, or like the de facto leader when Cable wasn't around because he had his own book. He had things to do. Uh, and then we've got Domino right there. Again, much like a lot of season one, or the rest of season two of Marvel United X-Men, all the characters are based off of their comic book interpretations. So there is that. So Cable, Nathan Christopher Summers, Dayspring, whatever he's being called, has quite a few... Uh, uh, special abilities here. We've got two copies of Psychic Mastery. Each hero draws one card, then they discard one card from their hand to the bottom of their deck. So he's got a couple of copies of that. Then Techno Active Manipulation right here. Discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck and perform two wilds. So Cable is getting wild and then techno organic physiology right there punch and you may draw cards until you have three in your hand so that is kind of like his heal ability right there so we're going to have it shatter star next so there is all of his cards right there and then we've got vibratory shockwaves uh, you may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to punch, 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 split as you like in your and adjacent locations. And then finally we have Healing Factor. No starting hand card for him. You may draw cards until you have three in your hand. Right there. So that is Shatterstar. And then we got Samuel Guthrie. The Cannonball. There is his various artwork cards right there and then he's got his blast field gain one movement token you cannot take any damage until the beginning of your next turn right there and then energy field propulsion this turn each time you perform a movement action uh gain one punch token so you got that right there for cannonball and then finally domino uh quite a few few cards right here. I mean, it's the same 12 cards that everybody has. Uh, probability manipulation right here. If this is the latest domino card in the storyline, overflow effects are ignored during the next villain turn. And then she's got three of those. And then again, no starting hand cards. Master Assassin, punch, punch, punch in a single villain or henchman. Punch, punch, punch to a single villain or henchman in your location. So there is Domino right there. Let's take a look at Strife's threat cards. So he's got force fields. Looks like he's got one, two, three of them. As long as this threat is in place, Strife ignores one damage during each hero turn. Force field effects are cumulative. So we got that. And then the legacy virus right here. A hero starting their turn in this location chooses to either skip their draw card step or ignore one action symbol at the bottom of the hero's card. So there is that. I don't know why I was thought Sinister was responsible for that. But that is everything as far as cards go in the box. So we're going to go ahead and take a look now, finally, at the figure. So first of all, we've got Cannonball going boom and through the sky right there. And then we've got Domino 
right there. And then we're gonna skip one and go over here to Shatterstar. Shatterstar looking pretty good as far as hero figures go. Very intricate, very detailed right there. Then we've got Mr. Big Gun right here trying to have a, you know, a larger weapon than Punisher from season one and his katana because why not have a katana uh, cable there. So we got that and then possibly winner for best figure in the box, most detailed figure in the box. Uh, Wolverine with Mask Envy right there. There we have Strife. So there is his figure right there. And now we have seen absolutely everything in this box. That is the X-Force expansion for Marvel United X-Men. I thank you guys for tuning in to this unboxing, trying to get our way through all of season two of Marvel United before hopefully soon season three arrives and we'll go through all that uh if you have not already make sure to hit the notification bell at the bottom there so that way you are alerted to when new videos are coming out let me know down below in the comments who your favorite character was in this expansion both in the game and you know comic books as well uh let me know what other members of x-force you would have loved to see partnered with some of these guys i know boom boom um and i think sirens in the game somewhere i can't remember where uh, but i know we've got other uh characters for x-force in various expansions some that we're missing rip richter uh, you know rip uh all that stuff so uh but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already i've been eric this has been rockshire gaming this has been the x-men x-force expansion for marvel united and we'll see you guys in the next video bye